hey, Kier's here. I decided to use the um, video camera instead, the camcorder. Ah, uh, hmm. Simone came up with the idea to talk about white trash. You know, I don't even know what to say about that because on the one hand, uh, I know all the cultural stereotype um, ideas, images, and it's like, okay, you know, we all know that. And you get a little bit more into it, and you kind of see how the social political aspect of it comes out, especially online with online debate. I'd say being online is kind of educational in that sense. But looking at it personally, well, I, when I look at things personally, generally, uh, I'm like, I, I don't know how to explain it really, but there's my online presence. And then there's real life. To me, like, real life is like uh, a bubble. And like, uh, my online life is like, the river. I, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it without being too esoteric, but it's like my real life is online. My, uh, my real life in real life land is just where I exist. You know, I eat, I sleep. Uh, I talk to a few people here and there, but usually it's like, uh, I'm the customer, or uh, I'm the person that's uh, getting, like, a benefit, like a doctor, or uh, a lift operator, or something like that. And it's all very courteous. There's a courteous aspect. <clears throat> and if I meet a uh, stranger, it's like a cordial affair. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> but really very little social interaction. Because if I had to look at myself and say, Gee, Curious, or Tim, are you white trash? I would say, God, no, I'm not white trash. I'm like beyond white trash. I, <laughs> you know, I'm on SSI, I'm fat, I'm disabled, I'm disfigured, I'm freaking probably half crazy and freaking, you know, and now I'm getting old. Great, you know? Oh, oh, and don't forget that I have a bad attitude, you know. You know, I, I talk about being conservative or alt-right, well, I don't like to say myself alt-right, but alt-light, you know, or shitlord or anti-SJW and stuff, it's like, well, God, I look out into the world, onto the online world, and that's how I feel. But in the real world, I'm like, anybody I meet, it's like, it almost all falls away. It's like, you know, I, I really don't feel that uncomfortable around minorities. It even sounds weird saying minorities. You know, to me, a person is just another ethnicity. You know, and it's like, oh my God, you're actually making something out of it. I live in such a multicultural, well, multi-ethnic freaking uh, area that that's the normal for me. You know, I went out, like, I'm in the south area where I am. And that's mostly black, Hispanic, some Asian, white, Indian, you know. And you go out into this place called the North Area, and it's like mostly white and stuff, urban, upper class. And while that's supposed to be 
what I identify with online, it actually feels kind of alien to me in a way. You know, um, people are nice and it's like, but they're like overly nice in a way. And it's like, oh yes, okay. Da, da. <clears throat> and it's like people from the South area are like, they have a certain vibe. <clears throat> and it's like, in this area, it's like, well, wait a minute, well, why are you being so nice? And then there's this uh, place that uh, is about 25 miles out of town. It's, uh, it's a, a lake. And the lake community people, oh, Jesus, you know. It's like a Stepford Club. You know what I mean? They all got their friggin' uh, 75,000, no, no, more like a uh, 200, 350,000 dollar houses and up, right? And they're all like, you know, I. I when I was a kid, I went to um, a function because I was Lutheran at the time. I still consider myself Lutheran, but as an atheist, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not a Lutheran anymore. Huh? Okay, right. Um, <clears throat> which is weird, but um, we went up to this lake, right? And all these lakeside people, and it's like they were having this meeting and they come fluttering out of their houses, right? And it's like, they were all like, you know, the uh, kind of yuppie, not really super conservative, not really super liberal, but kind of weird because it was kind of both. You know, uh, California conservative, you know? And it's like, they're all like, hi, how are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. That's great! I'm glad you're fine. We're glad you're fine. How are you? Da 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 da! We are super, we're super people. We're super happy that you're here. We're super happy it's good to be white. Aren't you wish you were near? Wow! Yeah! You know? Yeah! Uh, that's great. So, can I pay the salad? Of course! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. One more round? Yeah, sure, why not? We're super happy, we're super white. It's good to be here. We know you're glad to come and visit. Too bad you just don't live here. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I did not know. I was not really white, you know, and then, you know, and then you look at the uh, look in their eye, and it's like, oh, yeah, you're white, you don't get the friggin' fearful, hidden, anger, minority look, you know, but you get the friggin' subtle condemnation, oh! I'm white trash! Ah, I get it now! Zippity, 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 who was like freaking, you know, I don't know, we were friends, but I was like his pal, you know, like his tag along or some bullshit, his sidekick, right? You know, and it's like, okay, and his dad's like, had like 10 kids or some crap, right? You know, had a freaking three story Victorian, you know, he was downtown snob. Right, so it's like, you know, he's like, hey, did you enjoy going to that? I'm like, I don't like 17, 18, no, no, I was like a 13, 14, that's right. And I'm like trying to explain like, well, yeah, they're okay. But it kind of felt weird because they seemed kind of preoccupied. You know, I didn't say preoccupied, but they, they seemed kind of, I don't know, you know, it's just, you know. And I could read his face and see, like, oh, okay. 
yeah, he knows what's going on. What was the freaking whole point of that freaking exercise anyway? You know, what, did he think it would uh, enlighten me or something? Was it some kind of self-aggrandizement? Was it some sort of uh, white cultural enrichment? Uh, maybe uh, it was just to show me that, you know, to get the clue that, yes, you might not have got the memo, but now you got the whole tour to know your place. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see. Okay, I'll be a friggin', um, since I'm white, I'll be a friggin' middle management. I understand now. My job is to freaking be a taskmaster to hurt around minorities in a freaking big box park. Okay, better get on that real quick. You know, but of course now the men's management is all taken over by Indians and other people, so, you know, that ain't happening anymore. Sorry, you've been outsourced. <laughs> You're not good as freaking low class mill management. You just better stick to the friggin' um, back to the friggin' uh, 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 labor and freaking back to the friggin' uh, docks and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I see how it is. White trash! There's white trash for you. Uh, it's everything I have ever learned about it. Well, yeah. Dun, 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 dun.